Greetings, viewers. We have a fairly new pen today. This is the Visconti Breeze. So this is a relatively affordable pen from Visconti. Visconti normally makes pens that are $500 and up. Typically, this is a $100 pen from Visconti. As you can imagine, it's a steel nib pen, but um, as you can see, it's got a lot going for it, and um, I, uh, I really like it. I'll say right again, right off the bat, um, it comes in a few different colors. I realize this particular color might not be to every everybody's personal taste. I personally like it, but um, don't let the color frighten you. You can get it in a bunch of different colors. Um, decently heavy pen. It's a mostly acrylic pen, but it's got quite a bit of metal parts in it, and it weighs in at 29 grams. As you can see, it's a pretty typically sized pen. Here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan, so it's right in the ballpark of these pens size-wise. Just for reference, here's another Visconti. This is a Visconti Homo sapiens, so it's a bit smaller than that pen. So let's uh, look at this pen. It's um, got a band that would appear at first glance to be a cap band, but it's not. It's actually part of the barrel of the pen. It's got, it says Breeze twice or maybe three times around the outside uh, uh, with sort of uh, varying size letters so it looks kind of neat um, going around the band it's got a very uh, typical Visconti type clip which but it's a cool one because it kind of rolls around the top the typical Ponte Vecchio bridge shaped clip that is spring loaded now they made a what I consider to be a crucial design improvement of this pen um, versus say the Homo sapiens and it's um, it's it's kind of an important um, uh, distinction. What you're gonna see here is a tiny upturned gap in the very tip of the clip that the Homo sapiens, which has an almost identical uh, engineer clip, does not have that little tiny gap. That gap is very crucial because what that gap allows you to do is to basically slide easily under uh into a pocket or a piece of clothing without having to do this lift and pinch maneuver which is basically what you have to do on the homo sapiens you can't just simply slide this under a piece of fabric because that little gap to sort of catch the fabric just is not present on the homo sapiens so this was a big in my mind design improvement that they made with this um clip so nice nice clip says as visconti etched on both sides. So this is sort of a laser etching of Visconti versus on the Homo sapiens, which is a much higher end pen, has it in enamel. Doesn't have the typical Visconti hook safe lock, but it's got something that's pretty cool as well. It is magnetic. So you get a little magnetic click there. It doesn't, it is not magnetized on the posting end. So it just posts in a traditional fashion, but it does post quite nicely and quite solidly. In terms of the nib, it is a steel nib. That's quite nice looking. It just simply has a little uh, typical Visconti design work. It says Visconti and an M for medium. And it is a cartridge converter filled pen. And it comes with a cartridge that has Visconti branded on the end of it. Um, it's got a nice section that's just fairly straight. There isn't really much of a lip or anything here. This is nothing to speak of. I wouldn't even call that a drop off or a ledge even. It's just simply just a, the, the sort of band sort of sort of smoothly segues into the section. So this is actually quite, quite comfortable to hold. I do post, but it's, it's probably a tiny bit on the short side unposted but uh, you could simply you could probably get away with it and it, uh, it's not terribly back weighted when posted and again a very very comfortable pen to hold so all in all i think this is a really really nice pen hundred dollar visconti pen some might say a hundred bucks is a lot for an acrylic steel nib pen it is but it, it is visconti you're paying for a premium brand the the trim and the furniture on this pen is very very nicely made um, I really like the clip, the overall design of the clip. It's spring-loaded, like I said. I think the design improvement they made, and that is just absolutely terrific. Um, so, all in all, great, great pen, very comfortable, and I really like it a lot. But, 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 how does it write? We're going to find that out right now. Okay, folks, what we're writing with here today is a Visconti.
breeze. And this has a medium steel nib and um, this just is fantastic. Uh, it is smooth, it is relatively wet, has really nice flow. Not much really in the way of any kind of flex or springiness on this nib. You can coax a tiny bit of line variation out there, but certainly not a flexible nib. Um, but I just think this writes absolutely fantastically. Um, the, I'd venture to say that it writes probably about as good as this Visconti does at about one-seventh the price. Um, so there you go. Not terribly a fair comparison, but this just really, really writes nicely. I am very pleased. Um, and um, just a great flowing, really smooth writer. Um, and um, I've, I've generally been very pleased with this pen. Um, and this was, uh, you know, sometimes you make a purchase that you just really, really feel good about. And um, I have to say this was one of them. So again, very, very pleased with this pen. And I really highly, highly recommend it. I think they really, I don't know, I dare say knock it out, knocked it out of the park with this one, but really, really a nice, nice pen and great job. And um, um, don't be surprised if you see this on my favorite pens of the year list come the end of the year. So there you go. And again, this magnetic closing mechanism is quite, quite, quite neat. About it for this pen. Let's talk a little bit about this ink, shall we? So this ink is Noodler's. Zhivago. And this at first glance seems like a black. not black. It's a very, very dark green. So if you want a kind of nice alternative to a black ink, this would be it. So at first glance, it does seem black, but it is in fact just a very, 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 very dark green. Um, and it, um, again, flows well. It's uh, nice and economical. As always, you get this nice three ounce bottle of ink from uh, Noodlers. Um, and again, the usual warnings apply when you open up a brand new bottle of Noodlers ink, be careful because they fill it to the absolute tippy tippy top of the bottle. Um, so just be, be forewarned. So it's a nice economical ink, flows well, etc. Um, and I like it quite a bit. Hey, just for the heck of it, we're going to try something that I typically don't do on these videos. Uh, we're going to test the water resistant properties of, uh, of an ink. Um, I've heard all sorts of good things about water resistance, particularly on this Noodler's Zhivago ink. So I thought I would actually try it out myself. So all we're going to simply do is put a little water on, uh, some writing that, um, uh, I did um, a little uh, while ago. Um, what I'm going to expect to see here is that the green is going to wash away and the black is going to stay. So what I think we have here is a non-water resistant green component and a water resistant black component. So as you can see, that seems to be what's happening. You're definitely seeing green uh, here washing away, but um, maybe the black's washing away a bit, but it looks like the black is, is doing quite a bit better than the green is. So, um, that is interesting. So this, um, is probably, um, a pretty good ink to use, um, where you care about some degree of permanence. 
Um, but, um, you know, wh whether the ink in its entirety sticks around or not, it's a different story. So, um, the black is definitely smearing in the water, but the letters are still quite legible and um, not washing away per se. So, um, again, water resistance is typically not something that I care a lot about, but like I said, I, I, I did hear some good things about the water resistant uh, properties of this ink, so I thought I would check it out and pass that information on to you folks. So, once again, we've come to the end of one of our videos. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did enjoy it, please, please subscribe, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, all that good stuff, etc. and so forth. And until next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.